हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स नमस्ते वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंडस्ट्रियल फ्लूड पावर सो दिस चैनल कंटेंट्स वीडियो लेक्चर्स मेड बाय मी ऑन दिस हाइड्रोलिक्स एंड निमेटिक्स सब्जेक्ट माय नेम इज सी के पुराणिक प्रोफेसर इन सेनगढ़ कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग पुणे आई एम ऑथर टू टेक नी योर पब्लिकेशन आई हैव रिटर्न सेवरल बुक्स ऑन दिस सब्जेक्ट टिल नाउ आई हैव कंप्लीटेड नियरली फिफ्टी वीडियोस एंड टू कंप्लीट दिस सब्जेक्ट फिफ्टी मोर वीडियोस आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डू द वीडियोस आई नीड मोटिवेशन प्लीज गिव सम लाइक्स कॉमेंट्स विथ गुड वर्ड्स एंड शेयर द वीडियोज अमंग युअर फ्रेंड सर्कल एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल सो दैट यू विल गेट नोटिफिकेशन वेन आई एड any new video thank you we shall proceed to the today's topic okay friends today we shall understand some uh, basic uh, hydraulic and pneumatic uh, circuits to start with i am taking single acting cylinder a circuit to, to operate single acting cylinder using 3 by 2 direction control valve okay this is single acting cylinder and this single acting cylinder is operated with the help of 3 by 2 direction control valve this is 3 by 2 direction control valve single acting cylinder is having only one port one connection when we supply fluid under pressure hydraulic oil in case of hydraulic circuits and in case of pneumatic circuits we supply compressed air when we supply fluid under pressure to so this port a the fluid exerts pressure on the piston due to which the piston will move from left to right piston rod comes out of the cylinder we call this as extension of the cylinder if the fluid is allowed to flow out of the cylinder through the same port a if fluid is flowing out then due to spring tension the piston will start moving from right to left the piston rod will go inside the cylinder we call it as retraction this extension and retraction is controlled with the help of direction control valve with the lever of this direction control valve is kept in first position like this there will be connection from port p to port a so that the fluid will flow to port a of the cylinder so that the cylinder will extend for retraction we will shift the lever to the second position when we shift the lever of the 3 by 2 direction control valve to second position the connection will be made like this that is from a to t and pump port p pressure port p is closed in this second position since a is connected to t the fluid from the cylinder will flow back to the reservoir if it is hydraulic circuit oil is taken back to the reservoir and if it is pneumatic circuit like this okay the fluid is exhausted to atmosphere because it is air air can be exhausted to atmosphere like this in case of hydraulic circuits we need oil reservoir pump pressure relief valve and all together it is called hydraulic power pack we need hydraulic power pack in case of hydraulic circuits whereas in case of pneumatic circuits there will be air compressor and then air dryer heat exchangers etc but we don't show all those things here we will directly start from f for l unit f stands for filter r stands for pressure regulator and l stands for lubricator filter filters the air if dust is there the dust will be removed and clean air comes out pressure regulator will regulate the pressure we can set the pressure to the required value 5 bar 6 bar 7 bar whatever it and the lubricator it will add lubricant oil to compressed air in the form of small particles mist or fog so that that lubricant oil will flow along with compressed air to valves and cylinders and perform lubrication internally means inside the cylinder there is piston there will be friction between piston and cylinder the lubricant oil it will lubricate the surfaces so that the friction will be reduced okay now let us see the animation of uh, single acting cylinder using 3 by 2 valve okay in this animation pump is running oil is flowing here oil is coming out and oil is going back to reservoir tank because the pump port p is closed pump port of the valve 
is closed. Oil can not flow to cylinder through this valve in this position. And the A port of the cylinder is connected to tank port and that's why if oil is there, that oil from the cylinder will flow back to reservoir tank. When I press the pump button of this 3 by 2 valve, oil flows to the cylinder. P is connected to A and from pump oil flows to the cylinder and the cylinder extends. When I release the pump button of this valve, A is connected to T and hence oil from the cylinder will flow back to reservoir tank. So for extension of the cylinder, I will press the pump button of this 3 by 2 valve and for retraction, I will release that pump button. Extension and retraction. So this is how the circuit will function. Now the next circuit is operating unidirectional motor using 3 by 2 direction control valve. Rest of the uh, part of the circuit is as in case of uh, the previous circuit. Only instead of a single acting cylinder, we are using unidirectional motor here. Again, unidirectional motor is having one port. With that port A is connected to port A of the 3 by 2 direction control valve. So this is unidirectional motor. In case of hydraulic systems, we will color inside this triangle. Means it is filled with black color. If it is filled with black color, it is hydraulic motor. And look here, this is pneumatic circuit here, pneumatic motor, air motor is used. Where inside this triangle, black color is not filled. Okay, this is the difference between the symbol of hydraulic motor and pneumatic air motor. Okay. And rest of the explanation will be as in case of single acting cylinder. Okay. When the lever is kept in first position, P to A connection is made, oil is flowing to unidirectional motor. The motor is running in one direction and oil coming out from this unidirectional motor is going back to reservoir tank. So this is this reservoir tank. It is simple. Actually in circuit only one reservoir tank, big reservoir tank will be there. But while drawing the circuit diagram, we can show the simple wherever it is required. It doesn't mean two reservoir tanks are there. Only one. Only one. It, this is only simple of that. Okay. When the lever is shifted to second position a to t connection will be there okay a to t connection will be there and p is closed so that oil cannot flow to the unidirectional motor the unidirectional motor will stop that's all it won't run in the opposite direction it will run if it is bidirectional motor unidirectional motor can run in only one direction okay it can't run in the other direction same will be here in pneumatic circuit also okay in this position air is flowing, compressed air is flowing to the, to the uh, unidirectional motor, unidirectional motor is running in one direction and from that unidirectional motor air is exhausted to atmosphere. When I shift the lever to the other position, okay, that P will close, A to T connection is there, P is closed, A to T connection is there, isn't it in the second position, so the unidirectional motor will stop. I am keeping this hydraulic circuit and pneumatic system circuit both side by side so that you can understand the difference. The difference is only one difference is there. That's all, isn't it? In hydraulic circuit, we use hydraulic power pack. Reservoir, pump, motor and pressure relief valve. All these things together it is called hydraulic power pack. But in pneumatic circuits, we, we used to draw the FRL unit. So this is about operating the unidirectional motor by using 3 by 2 valve. Now we shall move to the next circuit, operating double acting cylinder using 4 by 2 valve. To operate double acting cylinders, we use 4 by 2 valve or 5 by 2 valve. Here we are using 4 by 2 valve. Look here in this circuit, this is double acting cylinder. It has two ports, port A and port B. And the 4 by 2 valve is having four ports, pump port P, A port, cylinder port A, cylinder port P and this is tank port T. This tank port T is connected to reservoir but in case of pneumatic circuits it is open to atmosphere. Because compressed air we are using it can be exhausted to atmosphere. In case of hydraulic circuits oil we are using. But oil can't be released to atmosphere. It should be taken back to tank. Okay the functioning we shall see. When the lever is kept in one position P to A, B to T connection is made 
oil flows from pump to the cylinder to a part of the cylinder the piston will move from left to right oil which is there on other side of the piston here okay so that oil will flow back to tank from b to t of the valve so therefore the cylinder will extend when i keep the lever in the second position the connection will be made like this look here p to b connection is there a to t connection is there so that connection is made here oil flows from p to b to b port of the cylinder oil which is present on the other side of the piston will flow from a from a port of the cylinder to tank port so that's why cylinder will retract same expression i can do here only the thing is i can't say oil here instead of oil i should i should say compressed air compressed air will flow from p to a cylinder will extend okay and from b the compressed air will be flowing out it is exhausted here okay when i shift the lever to the other position p to b a to t connection is made and compressed air will flow to b port of the cylinder and from a port comp compressed air is going from a to t it is exhausted the cylinder will retract both circuits are same only the thing is we are using hydraulic power pack here we are using frl unit here and we are using oil here we are using compressed air here that's all the difference we shall see the animation when the lever is kept in first position p to a p to t connection is made and the cylinder extends when i shift the lever p to b a to t connection is made and the cylinder retracts when i shift the lever p to b a to t connection is made and the cylinder will retract by the end of extension the pressure relief valve will open and by the end of retraction also the pressure relief valve will open okay only during extension and retraction only during extension and retraction the pressure relief valve is closed once the extension completes the pressure relief valve opens and once the retraction completes the pressure relief valve will open so that when the cylinder is not extending or retracting when the cylinder is stationary like this oil which is pumped by the pump will flow back to the reservoir through this pressure relief valve okay next circuit is operating bidirectional motor using 4 by 2 valve so here instead of double acting cylinder we will use motor bidirectional motor bidirectional motor can run in both directions when you supply oil from a to b it will run in one direction if you reverse the oil supply direction then the direction of rotation of the shaft of this motor will reverse so if we color inside this triangle it says it is hydraulic motor if we don't color like this okay this will be pneumatic or air motor so this figure is hydraulic bidirectional motor and this figure is pneumatic bidirectional motor okay we shall see this circuit what is happening when the lever is kept in first position p to a and p to t connection is made okay oil flows from pump to a port of the motor and from b port of the motor oil is taken back to tank so that's why the shaft of the motor will run in forward direction when i shift the lever to the other position p to b a to t connection is made previously it was p to a p to t now it is p to b a to t so that oil from pump will flow to b port of the motor and from a port of the motor oil is taken out back to tank so that's why the, the direction of rotation of the motor shaft will be reversed understood same type instead of hydraulic oil i should say compressed air here in the metal circuit that's all okay in first position p to a p to t connection is there compressed air will flow from a to b in the motor that's why the motor will rotate in forward direction when i shift the lever to the other position p to b a to t connection is made and that's why the motor will start rotating the reverse direction now we shall see the next circuit operating double acting cylinder by using 5 by 2 valve this is 5 by 2 direction control valve it is having five ports look here p t1 t2 a b total there are five ports the a b ports are connected to the cylinder T1 and T2 are connected back to tank and pump port is connected to the pump P port is connected to the pump 
when the liver is kept in first position t to a connection is there b to t to connection is there due to which oil flows to a port of the cylinder and from b port of the cylinder oil will flow back to tank so that that's why cylinder will extend when i shift the liver to the second position in the second position look here what is happening p to b connection is there a to t1 connection is there p to b and a to t1 so oil will flow from pump to b port of the cylinder piston will retract and oil from a port will flow back to the reservoir tank in case of pneumatic circuit it is compressed air which is flowing i don't want to repeat the same thing okay the compressed air will flow from p to a p to t to cylinder will extend when i shift the lever the compressed air will flow from p to b and a to t1 the cylinder will retract in the next circuit i am using bidirectional motor instead of double acting cylinder here okay i am using the bidirectional motor okay in first position when the lever of the 5 by 2 valve is kept in one position first position p to a b to t2 connection is there p to a and b to t2 so that's why oil flows to a port of the cylinder and from b port oil is going to t2 and it is going back to tank and the bidirectional motor will run in forward direction when i shift the lever to the second position connection is made from p to b and a to t1 p to b and a to t1 so due to which oil flows to b port of the motor and from a port of the motor oil is flowing to t1 and it is going going to reservoir tank and that's why the shaft will start rotating in the reverse direction okay same thing in pneumatic circuit also okay the compressed air in this position is flowing from p to a and p to t2 motor is running in forward direction and when i shift the lever to the second position p to b a to t1 connection is made okay and compressed air will flow from p to b motor uh, runs in reverse direction from a to t1 okay the compressed air is flowing out and that air is exhausted to atmosphere so this about a few basic circuits In the next video we are going to take a slightly complicated circuits thank you